So this is my exotic. It's not a supercar, but it is an exotic. It's not a muscle car, it's not a tuner car. It's an exotic. Not, I'm not gonna budge on that argument, but the thing is, the Skyline is obviously the tuner car. Well, I still need a muscle car. Ever since I played Need for Speed Carbon, I realized my dream garage is going to have an awesome exotic, that's the M3, sorted. It needs to have an awesome tuner car, that's the Skyline, obvious. But for the muscle car, what do I go with? Well, I really like the S550 Mustang. I like it a lot. I like the GT, I like the GT350, I like the, the GT500, but as a forever car, what do I choose? Because I want my muscle car to sound a certain way. I want it to sound like a NASCAR cup car. A Coyote is never really going to sound like that. The Predator GT500 is never going to sound like that. Ugh. So I had an idea. I've talked about this in the Ice Age. What about get a 60s, early 70s Fastback Mustang, give it the uh, 429 Boss exterior, lower it, put some fender flares on it, put boom tubes on it, and drop in an FR9 cup car engine. Leave it NA, it's fuel injected, detune it as much as I can so it can run on normal street gas so it won't make 800 horsepower, um, but it, it'll still make good power, and it will sound incredible. My whole thing is, is I need to figure out two things. I need to put together an LLC in a state that, I don't really give a shit about the taxes, but tax benefits are always good, but the real thing is, is I want to register all the cars in a state that has no front plates and no emissions. Now, Washington was my first go-to. Washington is good because they just have no emissions statewide except for around the Seattle area, I think. Um, Georgia was another one I thought about because they have non-attainment counties where there's no emissions testing. Um, and they also have no front plates. There's also Kansas, I believe, and Tennessee. I don't know about... I don't know more than that about other states, but no front plates and no emissions. But then I need to figure out how to set up an LLC. And the problem is, is I think, at least in some states, you need to have an actual accountant that's in charge of it. Well, that's kind of a problem for me. I don't want to have an employee, necessarily but it would be nice to funnel all of my 1099 income into one place and then make quarterly payments on it, whether it's from bonuses from Nissans when I sell new Nissan cars or YouTube or selling merchandise or whatever. I could just have one big umbrella company for everything. That way if I make 15 grand a year from YouTube, 20 grand a year from Nissan, all the bonuses and stuff, it all goes into one spot, especially with the bonuses because I want to put all the Nissan bonuses towards the R34 GTR. That's the plan. And then the rest of the commission goes to bills. But the bonuses, you set them aside because they're in untaxed anyways. And that's the R34 GTR fund. That's it. Come on, Salt Life. Scion TC. Scion TC. I mean, I know a lot of people will register their cars in Montana, but that's mainly for the tax benefits, right? I don't, I'm not sure I really give a shit about that. I don't really care about the tax benefits. I mean, it'll be cool to be able to go to places like California and not have to worry about any of that crap. The other thing though, then, then again, I don't really care that much, but there's like also some states, damn, potholes. Some states have different like tint laws as well, or underglow laws, that's important too. What the heck is that thing? Oh. Oh, it's a roll-off. It's a roll-off truck. I don't know, it's just... These are the things I think about every day. I don't think about anything else. I think about money, I think about cars, I think about my family, and I think about YouTube, and I think about ways to monetize everything I do at every waking second of my day. And I'll tell you what, it's gonna be a lot easier to do that now at this new profession. Okay, 
this lane is the antithesis to the fast lane. I don't know what the heck is going on. I think it's the Kia up there is just going 60 miles an hour and just does not give a sh <laughs> We got a bike on the left. I'm letting them go by. God, these roads are ass. It's amazing that I can hear his music from here. I'm trying to give him space. Well, Ford, you were riding his bumper a fair bit. I see a whole bunch of bikes up there. Now, here's my thing. Yep, I see flashing lights up there. Someone's having a bad day. I had a feeling, I got a feeling, tonight's gonna be a bad night for them. Tonight's gonna be a bad night. Am I gonna get copyright for that? I'm also about to get the segment thing. So the camera's gonna beep at me here. Man, look at all the freaking antennas on that. It's not marked either. <laughs> But the antennas are visible from space, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Look at them go! Yeah, they're moving. Tonight's gonna be a sh night. Tonight's gonna be a sh night. <laughs> Welcome to the remix. I'm the racing joker. I'm more awake today. <laughs> it's 6.46 and I'm awake. Even though I went to bed at like 2 30 last night. I need to not make a habit out of that, man, but I, I want to stay up so I can do stuff that I enjoy. It's my break before work. It's fine. At least, at least, hello, officer. Stay away from me. Jesus Christ, you guys are just un, unmarked completely. You're just in a beige fucking vulture mobile. I don't know what would be a better investment for the car. I really want to get the Bluetooth module, but I think this car needs a goddamn radar detector. Seriously. <laughs> if I don't get one, I'm going to get in trouble eventually. I just need that little bit of warning. I can't remember how much they are. Aren't they like $500 though? Suspect is driving a black BMW. Escalating pursuit to condition five, motherfuckers. I don't, I don't want any of that. I'm going to keep that in the video games. That's another thing. Long term. Where will the channel be in, say, 10 years? 2034, right? Sounds weird to say that out loud, but it's going to come a lot faster than you think. That's what she said. Or no, that's what he said. Wait a minute. No, that doesn't make it either. That doesn't make sense either way. My whole thing is, if electric vehicles take over, what will automotive YouTube look like in 10 years? Will people just be doing all of this, doing the stuff that Daily Driven Exotics is doing, and the stuff that, you know, Stradman, and um, the straight pipes, and the smoking tire, and 1320 video, and all that stuff. Are people just all gonna be doing the same thing, but it's just not gonna sound very good? Is that gonna be the main difference? I don't know. I feel like when it comes to sports cars, oh, you're towing a whole truck with your truck. Neat. I was wondering why it looked a little weird. Well, I've seen weirder things. Um, I don't know. I mean, one idea I had to keep on doing automotive content, even after gas cars become banned worldwide, is I do stuff like Top Gear Special type stuff, where I go and I get old cars and do fun challenges in them. Where then it doesn't really matter, and it's still entertaining. I don't know. Because I have zero interest in electric cars. Absol absolutely none. Zero. Zip. <laughs> 